I finally got a new duvet cover. I love it so, so much. It's from Amazon. It's got beautiful constellations on it. Oh, so pretty. Hey guys, it's V, and today we are going to be testing out a lip product that I told you guys about in my monthly beauty haul, what I got for Christmas video. It is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy, and I really hope that it includes sugar spice and everything nice, <laughs> because I totally grew up with the Powder Puff Girls, and so I really uh, do have high hopes for this. I hope that it's good. So I bought my Powder Puff Lippy from Ulta, and it was $8.49. This does come in eight colors currently. They're all kind of in the mauve the purpley family right now which I mean <laughs> I'm down for I got the color moody to try out for you guys today and just by looking at the back of this little swatch look if I put it right here would it be like my lips <laughs> anyway so I am so excited to try this out on the back of the packaging it says powder to the pout pucker up and swipe on that just kiss flush of color featuring a soft cushion applicator this lightweight lippy goes on moussey and sets to a powdery soft finish so I have never tried any kind of like powder lip product before I have put like eyeshadows on my lips at times but I've never tried anything that's like a powder finish so since it does dry to that powder finish I feel like it would be pretty long lasting so that's what we're going to test out today y'all know how I do things here we just test it throughout the day show you little vloggy clips of what I'm doing and yeah so let's get into testing this out I'm pumped Okay, so here is the packaging that the lip comes in. Again, it's just got some interesting stuff on the back here. I don't believe there's any directions. Let's go on Ulta and see if there is a how to use. It just says squeeze the tube until color appears on cushion applicator and apply directly to the lips. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go ahead. I'll get you guys zoomed in. We will open this up here. Okay, so let's pop this open here and see what is going on with this. I have been seeing a couple of videos on Instagram about it but not no like reviews or anything on this yet so I'm really excited to test it out for you guys and see if it's actually gonna be like a decently long-lasting formula so this is the packaging of it really cute little squeezy tube kind of applicator powder puff powder lip cream and yeah it doesn't have any directions on here but I assume they just say put it on like a lip cream like it said just squeeze it through this little applicator here which is so fun I don't know if I've ever used anything other than like the Too Faced melted things that have this little fuzzy applicator. How is that going to work for application? I feel like the fuzziness of this is going to do some things, but let's go ahead and just squeeze it out here. See how long it takes. Oh, pretty quick. Pretty, pretty quick. You guys can see there's some color on the end there. So let's go ahead and start out with, uh, with that amount of color. This color looks so, so pretty. A beautiful kind of mauve color. And it's called Moody, like I said before. Don't currently have anything on my lips at all. So let's go ahead and apply some Moody. I think I might have squeezed out quite a bit of product here. But we will just spread it around. Hmm. See, like with this big applicator, how are you supposed to get in the inner part? Mm. Eh, not the easiest. Not the easiest. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit more product. I feel like even somebody with like smaller lips, I have like kind of average size lips, but if you have small lips, this huge thing is not going to fit in that area. I already messed it up. I feel like you can't go in with a ton of product on those outer corners because you're just going to do something crazy, but let's get some more product. Do the upper lip. It's decently pigmented, but I do feel like on the inner and or on the outer corners, I have to add more product because I can't like go all in with the applicator. And I feel like like this was part of like the greatness of this product was this applicator. And I don't like the applicator, <laughs> but it does look nice and kind of plush and moussey on my lips. It did say it was like a mousse type finish. But if you zoom in, I'll get up real close. You guys can see I don't have a lot of dryness to my lips right now, but it picks up on the eensiest 
bit of dryness that is on my lips right there. Can you guys see that? Like there's a tiny bit of dryness. That's not product. It's just like sticking. Uh. Oh gosh, okay, and it's kind of gathering. Do you guys see that? It's gathering. No, what is it doing? Okay, y'all, I am very nervous about this. Like, um, that, I'm gonna do the finger trick. Let's go ahead and do that. That just took off like a bunch of product and I didn't even put it that close to my inner on the bottom. I, it, ah, <sighs> I don't know you guys, I'm nervous about this one. I don't know how this is gonna go throughout the day, but that is how the color Moody looks on my lips. I have pretty much said my piece as far as how I feel application went. That applicator was pretty hard to use, honestly. <laughs> okay, guys, so currently it is 1.41 in the afternoon. So I am just going to go throughout my day with this on. We're gonna see how it wears, see what happens with it. I'm about to go get a pedicure and then probably hit up some lunch around this time. So yeah, I will see you guys in a couple of hours. We'll do some vloggy clips and things like that and we can see how this wears, if it gets on my teeth, whatever, because I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. This candle from Tyler Candle Company, it's called Mold Cider. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. It's like an apple scent without being like an intense apple scent, but I'm about to leave, so I'm gonna have to burn it out. Burn it out, blow it out. Whenever I leave, whenever we leave, and Sakari is here, we always give her this full of some lunch meat as a special treat since she has separation anxiety really bad. And then she eats that and she's like, oh my God, it's so great. Mom and dad leaving is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go get my pedicure. would do a quick check-in before I go eat my burrito I have waiting for me in the other room but I wanted to check in with you guys it's been about two-ish hours or so so let's zoom in and see what's going on okay so all I have had on my lip is what I showed you guys I just drank from a can of coke and gotta say that was not my favorite pedicure I have ever gotten <sighs> there were a few few faux pas some blood was shed apparently Anyways, so um, let's take a look at the lip color here. It's looking okay. It definitely hasn't really faded much. Just a little bit on the um, butthole lip area, if you will. Um, just a tiny bit there, but other than that, not much fading. But it is really clinging to any dryness that I have on my lips, which my lips were not dry. You guys saw them before I put any product on. They weren't dry. I put on chapstick every night before bed, so they weren't bad, but this is looking a little bit crusty in that area. And I'm interested to know if it's gonna transfer off. I'm <clears throat> sorry. So let's see if it transfers because it said it would dry to a powder finish. And I will say it is pretty comfortable on the lips. And I forgot to say earlier, love the color, super pretty color. But let's see if it transfers at all on my hand. It is 326, by the way. It transfers a little bit. I kissed twice just to be sure, but it transfers a little bit, but not much actually, which is really promising. So let's see what it looks like after I eat my burrito. <laughs> so I will check back with you guys when I'm done eating. Just a quick clip here of my burrito after biting into it. So quite a bit of color just from the initial bite. So we'll see. All right, so just finished eating. So let's zoom in and see what it looks like after eating a burrito. All right, so as I'm sure you guys can see, definitely some fading and it did transfer onto my chin, which I think is pretty surprising because when I kissed my lips, I hardly got any transfer at all, but I guess it was just forceful enough to do that. So let's see if it just kind of easily rubs off here. May have to go in with some concealer, but that's pretty good. I would say that's doable if you just like don't have concealer with you, you can just wipe it off. But you know, I will show you guys again up close. Oh, those dang dots. Okay, right about here then. <laughs> you can see it's still clinging onto dryness like really bad. So if you have dry lips, stay far away from this, but I am going to go ahead and reapply it and go for a couple another hours and see how it looks. Although, you know what? I just want to say 
this picture, it never looked like this. Like this looks like really shiny and glossy and it never looked like that even starting out. I'll show you guys right now because it definitely didn't look like that. And again, I'm not a fan of the applicator, but let's go add some more product and see how it looks. See how it layers on itself too because I have a feeling this one will layer pretty good on itself. Very, very slight smell, not overpowering. I can't really even describe what the smell is because it's really, really light, but it doesn't smell bad. Yeah, so as you can see, at no point is this ever glossy. It does have a bit of a moussey finish to begin with, but looks nothing like this picture at all. At least in my opinion, I do not see any of that shine and gloss that is on the packaging here, but it did layer well over itself and it's been really comfortable to wear the whole time. So there's that aspect of it. So I'm gonna zoom you guys back out so we're not super up close to me. <laughs> so overall, I'm just going to test it for another couple of hours, see how it wears on top of itself. Oh, forgot, I have to do this. Definitely one that you want to do the finger test with to get the excess product off of. But I will check back in with you guys in another couple of hours and see how this is doing. No, it's fine. I don't, I don't need to get any work done. <sighs> it's fine. You just, just keep your face there. No big deal. Sam got a new kitty. Her name is Lena. She's watching the printer. <laughs> She's so cute. Left, left ball. It's food time! It's food, food time! It's food, food time! <laughs> she is ready. Ready and willing. Lana, Lana, Lana. She's like, when is this food gonna get here? <laughs> oh, baby meow. I've been waiting. What's up, baby? She was like over there. I so, like, got home. I was like, girl, I was like, it's four o'clock. <laughs> just because you're over there does not mean I'm about to feed you. <laughs> you're just hungry. We meet again. Elliptical. All right guys, it is final check-in time. It is 6.52, so just about 7 p.m. So I wanna say, what, five and a half-ish hours that I've worn this lipstick, and I pretty much know my thoughts on it. It's not a super long-wearing formula. It definitely comes off when you eat, and it is transferable. It transferred onto a Coke can, it transferred onto a water bottle, so it does have some transfer. Although it's not very uncomfortable to wear, like I haven't been like really, really, urging to take it off or anything like that so that part of it is good it is only $8.50 so it's not too bad on price unfortunately though I feel like a darker color would look really really bad on dry patches you can still see on this one I haven't eaten or drinking anything I've only had like some sips of a water bottle so you can still see the dryness really really being emphasized I know I've said that like a thousand times already but it is the worst con of this so far in my opinion but otherwise i kind of like it i just wouldn't go with a darker color in this so i like this color moody but other than that i don't think i'll be buying any more of these so hopefully that is helpful for you guys if you like this video be sure to show some love to the like button down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my muse family and i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all in my next video i'm gonna go watch the bachelor